The Enterprise Notifications feature builds on the Notifications feature available on servers running ExactVision Professional. Notifications typically come in the form of sending email messages or text messages on the event of triggered alarms or after hours motion detection on a camera. This functionality is demonstrated on the Notifications Online User Training video. While the standard Notifications feature allows you to do this on a single ExactVision server, the Enterprise Notifications feature allows you to configure email profiles and servers across multiple ExactVision systems simultaneously. The Enterprise Notifications page is separated into two tabs, Email Message Profiles and Email Servers. The Email Message Profiles tab allows you to determine the email notification recipients and the content of the notification. Click New and enter a brief description in the Profile Description field. This description will also appear in the Action Target field on the Event Linking page. To reduce the number of email notifications sent, select a minimum number of seconds between notifications from the Send Rate Limit box. Enter the email address of the person the message is coming from. And then, enter the email addresses of the recipients. Create a subject and message information that should appear in the email notification. Finally, click Add to System Grid. Put a check mark in the Select All Systems to have the email profile added to all of the connected servers or simply select the servers individually. Click the Add button to push the email profiles to the selected servers. The Email Servers Configuration tab allows you to configure the outgoing SMTP mail server that sends email from the ExactVision systems. This information can be provided by your network administrator. Click the New button. In the Server Description field, put a check in the checkbox and then enter a unique, descriptive name of the email server. In the Outgoing Mail Server SMTP section, enter the address and port number. 25 is the default of the outgoing mail server. If your email server requires authentication, enter a valid username and password in the authentication section. Click Apply to Systems Grid. Put a check mark in the Select All Systems to have the credentials added to all of the connected servers or simply select the servers individually. If you would like to see the passwords visible on the screen, put a check mark in the box next to Show Passwords in Clear Text. Finally, click the Add button to push the information to the selected servers.